here's how to use the Fulfilled by AutoDS service to automatically fulfill all of your orders without using your buyer accounts. Let's start by understanding the order statuses. When an order comes in, we will see it here on the order screen on the left side. And here we have the order statuses. The order can start in either pending status or in order progress. The order status we'll get when an order comes in depends on what we have in the settings, which I'll show you in about a minute. Once the order is processed, the status will switch to ordered with the order ID. The buy order ID is filled in automatically when using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. We can tell that the order was fulfilled using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service by seeing this icon right here, completed by the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. You'll also have an estimated arrival date and you'll also have a screenshot from the supplier if it's available from the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. Once your supplier ships your order, the AutoDS system will automatically switch the status from order to shipped with the tracking information so that you and your buyer will be able to track the package and see the status of the package. And once it's delivered, the status will move automatically to delivered and that is all there is to it. Everything is automated. We're not using our own buyer accounts on our suppliers' websites with our payment information. Everything here is automated and we do not need to worry about having our buyer accounts locked on our suppliers' website or anything else that comes along with it. So that is the order statuses explanation, everything which is completely automated. So first thing that we see is the actual product that we saw. Sold. Then we have the product's title and the specific variation that's sold within that product. Then we have the order status, which we just went over, the estimated arrival date, the completed by the fulfilled by AutoDS service icon. And here we can add an internal note. So if you want to add any note to this order, you can do so here. Click on the checkbox and you'll see here that we have a note because it's highlighted in blue. Next, we have more options. So if we click on this, we can edit the order, edit the product that we're buying inside the order, or we can open up a ticket if there's any issue with this order. Now we can also get to the edit order and edit product screen by simply clicking on the products thumbnail right here, and this will open up the order's details. Here we have the product's information as we can see here on top. The buyer's information down here, first name, last name, address, country, city, state, and so forth. Then we've got the order information right here. So we can switch the order status from this screen too, but since we're using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, there's no reason for us to touch the order status. Then we've got the product's tags. We can add more tags if we wish to do so. The note that we wrote on the order details, and we've got the purchase information. So the buy order ID after the order was fulfilled, we'll have the supplier's order number right here. Buyer account is not relevant to the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. This is only relevant for automatic orders if we're still automating our orders, but using our own buyer accounts, which is not the case right now. Then we've got the buy price, tax if we had to pay any, what our fees were, and the tracking number right here which will automatically fill in as soon as tracking is available from our supplier as well as the shipping carrier. Then we've got the product information. Here for example we can see where we're purchasing the product from. So which supplier are we using? In this case it was the AutoDS marketplace, the private suppliers. If I click on it we can see the rest of the suppliers that we can order this product from, which region the supplier is from, the buy URL or what is the URL of the product that we're purchasing from our supplier and the buy variant ID. And we'll only fill this in if it's different than the variant ID that we have on the product itself. But we do not need to touch any of this unless we wish to purchase a different product or the same product from a different supplier where, for example, maybe we have a cheaper price. So what we'll do in this case is we'll change the buy URL and the buy variant ID should change automatically. If not, we can also fill that in. We can always find that in the URL. And so once we change the buy URL and the variant ID, the AutoDS system will purchase that product instead of the one that we have set in the order details. So that is the order detail information. Now, if we continue to the right, here we can see the supplier and the product that we're purchasing and the selling channel where we sold it on. So for example, we're purchasing this product from AutoDS's private suppliers and we're selling it on our Shopify store. The quantity is one. And here is the buyer's address, the same that we can see once we open up the order's details. And if we continue scrolling to the right, we can see the store, so Pet Shop Discount, my Shopify store, and we've got the price. So we bought the product for $8, sold it for $14, profit is around $4.5, fees and taxes will show up on this column, 
and the order ID. So if I click on the order ID, I will go to the supplier's order, but in this case, the fulfilled by AutoDS service fulfilled the order for me. But if you were to fulfill your order manually, you could click on it here and go to your order on your supplier's website. Then we've got the sell order ID, which will take me to my order on my Shopify store, the tags, and so forth. So here are all of the products that we have. Now, there are more order statuses that we will get to now. For example, if you do not have enough funds to pay for your order and will get to funds soon, you'll get an insufficient funds order status. Once you fill up your funds, which can be done up here, which I'll talk about in a minute, you can send it again to reorder and you can also load your balance by clicking on the order status and clicking on load balance here, the same as clicking right up here. And besides that, you can also open up a return. So after the order was delivered using the fulfilled by AutoDS service, simply click on the order status and click on request request return. This will try and obtain a return label from your supplier. And if you're eligible for it, then you will get a return label uploaded next to the order status, just as we can see right here. If I click on download return label, it will download the return label for me. I can send it to my buyer. And once my buyer ships back the product, I will get a refund and I can send him the refund accordingly. Okay, so far so good. Let's continue with the learning process. Right up here, we can see how many auto order credits we have. Each order costs one auto order credit. And in order to buy credits, simply click on the buy credits button right up here, choose the right package that's suitable for you and click on buy now. Once you will buy your credits, you will see the exact amount right up here. Then you will need to top up your auto order balance, which is what we can see right up here. This balance is actually used to pay the supplier for your orders. So for example, if you have a balance of $100 and the fulfilled by AutoDS service just process an order which costs $20, then your new balance will be $80. Once your balance goes down to zero, you're going to want to top up your balance so that the system can continue fulfilling new orders that come in. So once you have your balance and your auto order credits, you're pretty much ready to go. The only thing that's left to do, if you haven't done so up until this point, is to go to the settings page on AutoDS, which you can see right here on the left side. Click on the supplier that you would like to use the Fulfilled by AutoDS service on. Click on the store, which you would like to activate the service on. And then click on the orders column right here on the right side. Here you have two options under order settings. Process orders using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service and automatic orders. Now, remember how in the beginning of the video, I told you that the order could come in either pending status or automatically get sent to auto order. This is exactly where we can control that. So if you would like the orders to come in in pending status so that you can check it and send it to auto order yourself, then all you have to do is leave the automatic orders part checked out. So only check in the process orders using the fulfilled by AutoDS service. But if you do have automatic orders checked in, then every time an order comes in, it will get sent to auto order automatically so that your order will be fulfilled even when you're away from your computer, while you're traveling, while you're sleeping, while you're away from your computer. And this means that all of your customers will get their packages much, much quicker this way. So make sure to have either these two or just the fulfilled by AutoDS service ticked in so that you will be opted into the service. Here we have an option to override the customer's phone number. So if you don't want the customer getting SMSs from your supplier that they have a package on the way, you can just override it by any other number. And this way they'll still get their packages, but no SMSs from your supplier. You can also check in mark order as delivered automatically after 30 days. But in any case, it should move to that status automatically. And it doesn't really matter if the order is in shipped or delivered status, as long as it was shipped out and it was delivered and your customer has the tracking information once it moved over to the shipped status, all of this was automated for you. So no need to worry about anything. Then we have more options like setting order as shipped as soon as it's actually shipped or once it's ordered, or once the order is just received in the system, then we've got tracking conversion. This is relevant if you're dropshipping from Amazon, especially to places like eBay or Shopify. And sometimes Amazon uses a TBA tracking number, which is their own logistics. And with this tracking number, the buyer will not be able to track their package. So in this case, we can convert the tracking numbers to either Blue Care Express, all of your orders or only Amazon shipping carrier or Amazon logistics to Blue Care Express. We also have the choice to go with Aqualine, which comes with zip code masker and QTrack, which also comes with zip code masquerade, which will help you with your item location. If you're using eBay and you want to abide by their item location policy, more information on that on our help center. Now, besides tracking conversion, you can also set your maximum purchase order price. So for example, if you do not want the system to process orders automatically on orders that cost over $1,000, we can just write 1000 right here. And that will be the maximum purchase order price. The system will still accept orders, but they will not fulfill it 
until you come in and decide if you want to fulfill it manually or if you still want to use the FBA service for that. And we've got the maximum loss. If for any reason you lost money on the order, you have a loss in profit. So set your maximum loss that you would still like the system to fulfill the order automatically until it passes that number. So for example, if I have my maximum loss set at $5 and I lose $4 on an order, the system is still going to fulfill it. But if I lose $6 on an order, it's not going to fulfill it. But between us, we shouldn't be losing money on any order. And last but not least, make sure that you have the orders processor enabled in the plans and add-ons. So under settings, we're going to click on the plans and add-ons column. Then we're going to scroll down to the orders processor and make sure that we have this one enabled. That is all there is to it. All that's left to do is top up your credits as explained and top up your balance. You can top up your balance by either using credit card, PayPal, or Payoneer. I suggest using Payoneer because they charge only 3% as opposed to credit card or PayPal, which charges a 5% fee. Select the amount that you would like to load to top up your balance, click on load balance, and you're done. And the last option that we haven't talked about is the customized display. Here you can customize what you would like to see on your order screen, and you can even drag and drop the options to change the placements. For example, we can see the item ID, the customer's address, the customer's details, the store that's sold, price, profit, tax, and so forth. So you can toggle on and off the options that you would like to see on the orders page and drag and drop them to organize it in the way that you see fit. Once done, click on update. Welcome to order automation. Enjoy the fulfilled by auto DS service and use the time that you're saving to continue scaling your online business. Good luck and happy profiting.